Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. Today we're going to look at Style Transfer AI in Photoshop and some Photoshop alternatives. I recently ran across Style Transfer AI again when doing a review of the Text to Image AI Generator Night Cafe. I'll put a link in the description below. Style transfers take the style, colors, and texture of an artist or a piece of art and maps it onto your image. You can turn your photo into a Van Gogh or your image into a Monet. Lately, with the popularity of AI programs like Midjourney, there's been a lot of discussion about the ethics of creating art that mimics the style of another artist. But this isn't new technology. Photoshop has had this feature for a couple of years. Photoshop included style transfer as part of their neural filters released in 2020. I did a tutorial about how to use this nifty bit of AI a couple of years ago when they first came out. In this video, we'll see what improvements Adobe has come up with in their style transfer AI and how it compares to the newer AI tools like Night Cafe hitting the market. But first, a quick introduction to Photoshop's neural filters. You can be forgiven if you haven't discovered Photoshop's neural filters. They hide under the filter drop-down menu. The name is not very descriptive, and you may not have even noticed when the option appeared. When you open the neural filters, you'll see a list including Super Zoom, Colorize, and Style Transfer. There are other filters labeled Beta. These are not stable and need more work. I'll show you the landscape mixer in a minute. The first time you use each filter, you will need to download it, but otherwise the tool works offline. Neural filters generate pixel content based on machine learning. In machine learning, the program looks at thousands and thousands of images to identify patterns and create rules of action. Other tools in Photoshop let you manipulate pixels or use pixels from a different area of your image, but neural filters create information that does not exist in your photo. Toggle on the Style Transfer tool and select a style. Photoshop includes 10 presets under Artist Styles and more under Image Styles. Lately, there has been discussions around the ethics of using another's style, but I don't recall an outcry when Photoshop released this tool. Feel free to make your images look like Monet or Cezanne. There are a further 31 image styles to choose from. The styles are mostly representational of a type of art, like tattoo or line drawing. Adobe doesn't label these image styles and you really just have to apply them to your image to see what they will do. Let's look at some examples. I'm going to use my photo of hot air balloons over Cappadocia, Turkey throughout the tests to keep things nice and standardized. When using Adobe Style Transfer, simply click on the style to apply it to your image. I've got some options including how strong I want the effect, how bright I want it, the saturation levels, and whether I want to preserve the colors in the original image. For this test, I stayed with the defaults. The shapes and composition of my image stayed the same, but the colors and textures changed. But you don't have to stick with the styles and artists that Adobe gives you. You can upload an image of your own to use as a style. This includes images from other artists. I uploaded one of the more popular artists being imitated on AI, Greg Ratowski, and also one of my personal favorites, Johan Lussel. I applied their styles to my test image. This tool has been out for about two years at the point I'm recording this video. Maybe no one noticed how powerful the style transfer tool was, or the tool just wasn't good enough yet. I reviewed Photoshop's neural filters soon after they came out, and I can't see much in the way of updates or changes to the style transfer tool. There aren't more styles, and choosing a style gives me the same look it did two years ago. Maybe there's been more work on the beta filters. When I first heard of Photoshop's neural filters, it was the landscape mixer that I was most excited about. This works a lot like style transfer, and then it mixes a landscape image with another image to change the time of day or season. Choose a landscape style and dial in the time of day and the season. My images never turned out looking like the publicity shots. To me, the sliders make no sense. I can have 20 points day, 50 points night, or half spring, half summer, and half autumn. I could never get this tool to work. Even when sticking to the basic presets, I get an abstract result. I turned down the strength of the effect, but the results are still not realistic. I think my expectations were that this would return a realistic looking image. Though this abstract look could be appealing, it doesn't really live up to the hype. I didn't cover the Landscape Mixer AI in my earlier tutorial on neural filters because it really wasn't ready for prime time. It looks like nothing has changed. It doesn't look like Adobe's machines have learned much, and it's more likely that Adobe has just given up on this tool. Adobe's style transfer seems stagnant, so let's take a look at some Photoshop alternatives. Let's start with Night Cafe. Night Cafe is a text-to-image AI image generator. 
one of the many that are cropping up all over. It joins Mid Journey, Dolly, and Stable Diffusion. One of the Night Cafe options is Style Transfer. Let's explore what's the same and what's different between Photoshop and Night Cafe. For a start, Night Cafe has more styles, 64 different styles, and they label them so you can see exactly what you're getting. If you're looking for Picasso, you can find Picasso. Some styles are the same or similar to choices in Photoshop, but there's more variety. Let's start by pitting Photoshop and Night Cafe head to head using styles found in both programs. I chose Starry Night by Van Gogh and The Great Wave by Hao Kusai. Night Cafe works fast and renders a better image, more in the unique style of the artist. I trade out more of the unique styles found in Night Cafe, including 20th and 21st century artists like Eric Olson and Cassandra Miller. All in all, Night Cafe outpaces Photoshop. The program has more variety in styles and does a better job at combining the styles with an existing image. Added to that, there are dozens of other images you can choose from, provided by Pexels, or you can upload your own. I added the same artworks by Greg Rutowski and Johan Lussel that I tried in Photoshop and ran the style transfer again with Night Cafe. There was quite a bit of a difference with Night Cafe capturing more of the essence of the artwork. The more I looked, the more of these style transfer apps I seemed to find. It seems like using the style of artist to change the look of your images isn't all that novel. Let's look at one more AI app designed to transfer artistic styles onto an image. Neural Pixels is an app for Windows or Mac. It is easy to use and comes with 66 pre-installed styles, some I recognize from Photoshop or Night Cafe. The user interface is simple and the app makes quick work of applying the style to your image. But they do start looking kind of samey-samey after a while. There are three sliders to adjust how much noise you want, how much of your image weight should be in the final, and the style scale. You can try the app for free, but you have to pay to remove the watermark. This app is easy and inexpensive, but you'll get better results with both Photoshop and Night Cafe. I'm a mid-journey user, but mid-journey isn't really a photo editor and doesn't really work so well with style transfers. You can upload an image and include the URL link in your prompt, but you're not going to get something that looks like style transfer, even if you use the highest image weight available. I have a separate video on how to work with images in mid-journey. Share your best file transfers in the comments below and let us know if you have a favorite app for style transfer. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.